Return to Love, Abstract Expressionist Painting, the process from nearly the start to the finish. Hello and welcome to my channel and thank you for stopping by. This video is about how to create joyfully, playfully and intuitively. In this video I'm working on a 400mm by 400mm work on canvas. You'll see me create it from nearly the start and then see it finished. Neighbours on the colour wheel, green and blue, are cool colours that form a refreshing combination. Green was also the humanist poet Pablo Neruda's favourite colour. He called it the colour of hope. I feel the same way, and also about blue. Give me the sorrows of the world, and I will transform it into hope, Pablo Neruda once said. I share more about my series inspired by the poetry of Pablo Neruda on my blog, link below. I love to use a glass palette. It's easy to see what I'm mixing. It's nice and long and beautiful and clear. It's great for clearing up as well. Here I'm just rubbing in some texture using gestural movements. I like to work quite vigorously, it gives the work more depth. You can see I've already put down the bones of the palette and greens and blues and now I'm just adding more colour and variety of tone. I'm also spraying some water which keeps things lovely and moist and provides some blurring of lines. Here I'm scraping back, revealing some of the work underneath. Again, I'm just working intuitively and playfully. I haven't formed a huge opinion about what I'm doing and I don't have a grand plan. All I want to do is add in lots of different textures and depth. A little bit more spray to loosen things up. And now with a bit of the water I'm creating some lovely runs. And then popping it back down. Now I love scraping, I love using this tool to apply paint and also take paint off. It's just a simple tool from the hardware shop. Adding a little yellow, cadmium yellow, just to again paint my own greens right on the canvas. And then lifting some of that and putting it into the painting above, just to create more harmony. Normally I would have a lot of my colours around me so I don't have to walk so far. But it's no great problem. I've gone to get my white and I'm adding in some lovely highlights and some flowy highlights and 
again using gesture and the paint straight from the tube. now just with my brush. Again you can create great variations depending on how vigorously you apply the paint with your brush, what part of the brush you use, whether it's flat, the tip, whether you use your fingers. Endless variety as is abstract art, endless variety with abstract art which is what I really enjoy. The other thing sometimes is placing the lightest light next to the darkest dark can create a sense of drama and sculpture, which I enjoy too. And while graduations of value feed calm and atmospheric feelings. And again, I'm just looking at proportion, looking, standing back, adding in more depth. And then later I'll sit it up and I'll allow some time for it to really sink in as to whether it's finished. Sometimes I'll share it with a tribe of supportive people and just get some feedback from them. For example, recently I shared the finished work with a group of artists on a Facebook page and got some really great feedback which made me think, okay, it's done, it's finished. You don't want to labour over your work too much, but nor do you want it to look too premature, like you haven't finished it. Some of the feedback that I received was, wow, that's nice, oh my, it's beautiful, and someone else said, that is really good. So that was really encouraging. So I'll leave you to enjoy the rest of the video and I will put up the final painting at the end of the video. Enjoy.